Next time you're at the thrift store, pick up a couple of table runners. I want to make sure that the good side is facing down. And I'm just going to use some really strong duct tape to hold these together. I want to make sure the edges of this rug are even all the way around and up on the top. So I'm going to fold that down and then duct tape that part down. I picked up this vase and bowl at my local thrift store and then add a light coat of spray paint to the outside. Then I grabbed some napkins and I'm just gonna gently pull apart the layers. I wanna cut it down into smaller pieces. I'm gonna start by applying a generous layer of Mod Podge, gently press it down with my fingers. I can go ahead and cover the bottom and the edges with smaller pieces. I am going to use some really strong glue to attach the smaller one to the bottom of the larger one. Let's update this plain old corkboard. Grab some fun fabric to place over the corkboard itself. Cut a square slightly larger than the corkboard. Then attach the overhang of the fabric to the back of the board using just a few push pins. And then using the hot glue, go around the push pins to attach the fabric to the board. I hung it up on our office wall. I grabbed a corrugated cardboard box and a tin can from my recycling for this elegant home decor. I cut the cardboard about a quarter inch taller than the tin can. I wet a tea towel and pressed it onto the top of the cardboard to make it damp, not wet. This helped to loosen it so I could pull the top layer off and expose the corrugated part. Then I flipped it over and painted the top half inch and top edge antique white using acrylic paint. I flipped it back and painted the whole corrugated surface in antique white and then I started blending with the other colors. I used a sponge to add black, gray, and I spray painted some silver for a metallic touch. I added more antique white on top and blended it all together using my paintbrush. Once dried, I wrapped it around the tin can, hot glued it together. I'm gonna rip down all the fabric off of my lampshade. So I'm gonna take it outside and give it a quick spray paint. And then after that, I decided I needed to spray paint one more thing. And that was a mason jar sealing part of the lid that I'm gonna use later on. I'm gonna take this wood slice. I'm gonna give this a good coat of sealer. I'm also gonna do like the live edges. And once that's all sealed, it's gonna be time to grab that mason jar lid and drill a tiny hole in the middle. And now it's time to assemble. I have some E6000 industrial glue that I'm putting in a little hole where like a finial for a lamp would go. And that's where I'm gonna kind of adhere that mason jar sealer. I'm going to put some more E6000 glue along the rim here. So I'll go ahead and set that down, got it in place, and now it's time to drill. It's all good, gonna flip it up. I grabbed some thrifted glassware for this brilliant garden decor. Then I grabbed some two-part epoxy. I used a wood skewer to mix the epoxy and placed it around the bottom edge of one glass vase then glued it to the bottom of the glass bowl. I set that aside and let it dry. I applied epoxy to the bottom of a different glass vase and placed the glass platter on top in the center. I grabbed the vase with the bowl and applied epoxy to the top and attached the third vase upside down and applied epoxy to the top of the vase that is attached to the bowl and I placed the other section on top. Blow up a balloon, then grab some wood slices. Take two wood slices and glue the sides together using a low temp glue gun. Let the discs bend slightly so they follow the curve of the balloon. To fill in, glue smaller sized wood discs into these spaces. Once you have all the discs where you want them and the glue has set, pop the balloon. I styled my new wood slice bowl by laying some moss on a tray and nestling the wood slice bowl on top. Then I added a beautiful pink orchid pick up some inexpensive wicker baskets. Dip the paintbrush in the paint and then pounce. Take the brush and lightly brush the paint onto the basket in the main direction of the basket weave. This basket finish looks fantastic, styled with flowers or green plants. Take a wicker basket with a very light finish. Spray paint the basket in light layers with an oil rubbed bronze color. Let the basket dry completely, paint in light layers. You will notice that the paint dries very fast between layers because there is actually very little paint used. 
I took this fleecy fabric softener plastic container and then using an X-Acto knife, I just cut off the top portion. Next, I'm going to take some craft paper. I'm scrunching it up to create like a really rough texture and then I'm gonna tape it on where I need tape to hold in place and just cut out my handle and then wrapping that again in masking tape. When I'm done with this, I'm gonna create my paper mache and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna rip the envelopes up into tiny little pieces. Then I'm gonna add just a little bit of water before I turn on my blender. So I lay out the Mod Podge and then I just grab a handful of the slurry and I just spread it around onto my plastic container. First, we're gonna repurpose a one gallon glass pickle jar. And then we have some decorative nautical rope. I'm measuring out a vertical strips. Now, once I get all of my strips cut, I'm gonna start using my glue gun to attach them on the side of the jar. And all I'm doing is I'm evenly spacing these out. And then I'll go in the middle of those sections and put a piece of rope. And then I'll do that, continue on until all eight. And I'm just gonna start somewhere and kind of glue in a few places as I'm wrapping around. And then I'll glue the other two and it end up being a stack of three, just to give it a finished look start this project I want to remove everything but the main section of this lamp I'm gonna add the glue to each of the joints and then leave it all to dry I found these signs at the dollar store I'm gonna add a thinner wood round a little wood glue will hold this into place perfectly I'm gonna find the middle and use the top of the lamp to trace a little circle I'm ready to paint I'm gonna use the white chalky paint to cover both the base of the lamp and the wood. I wanna attach the wood top to the lamp. The circle that I drew before is gonna help me so that the lamp is correctly centered. Add some glue and then I can join them together and it'll be nice and solid. Find some frames that you like and you're gonna take the glass out. We're gonna spray the white vinegar on one side. Grab this really cool stuff by Rust-Oleum and go over top. By using your paper towel and dabbing, it's going to create a design. Spray an even coat of the black paint. We're gonna put our glass back into the frames. I spied these license plates and knew I could do something with them. I wanted to make a flower, so I laid the license plate on a piece of white paper and cut it to size. Then I folded the paper in half and cut out half of a petal for my pattern. Pattern and laid it on the back of the license plate and traced around it with a sharpie. Using a tin snip, I cut it out. I turned up the edges with a plier. I also used a small paint can and rolled the plate along the can's edge to bend it. The center of the flower, I cut a plate in half and then I cut out a circle. I made cuts into the center of the circle and bent the cuts upward. I drilled a hole in the center of the center piece and then drilled holes in the ends of each of the petals. I placed a bolt through each of the holes and then using an electrical box cover, I drilled a hole in the center of that and one hole on each side of the center hole. I placed the bolt through the center hole and secured everything together with a nut. I threaded a cable tie through the two side holes in the box cover and then placed the plant stake around the bolt and secured it with the cable tie. You know all those lonely donated lampshades? Pick up a matching pair. Pick up a thrifted belt. Run a bead of clear glue around the perimeter. Take the other lampshade, place it on top of the other lampshade. Take some jute twine and tie the inner hardware of the two lamps together. Give the connected shades a little shake to make sure they are securely connected. Take the belt and buckle it around the skinny center of the two lampshades. Add a little glue to the loose end of the belt and secure it to the rest of the belt. Find a thin wood circle disc. Paint the edge with some acrylic paint and peel and stick wallpaper is perfect for this project. Place the wallpaper disc on the lampshade base. 